Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Toon Dallas and I am your host. This is Wild and Unbelievable News where we cover some of the craziest news stories from around the world. Up at number six, the source is HuffPost.com. There was a carjacker accused of kidnapping a sleeping passenger and a goat. Now listen to the story guys, this is crazy because the story goes as follows. There was a dude and his homie or his friend who pulled up to an adult video store. They pulled up to an adult video store in their pickup truck, but not only were they accompanied by each other, but they also had a goat in the back. Yeah, a goat. I said it right, a goat. So the one dude, the driver goes inside the adult video store and then the passenger dude said that when he woke up, there was somebody with a gun pointed at his face and there was a dude carjacking him. Now, let's go over this story right here. The suspect drove the stolen vehicle from Missouri to Oklahoma before releasing the terrified victim and animal. A man stole a pickup truck with a sleeping passenger and a goat inside. He drove it all the way from Missouri to Oklahoma before releasing the terrified victim and animal and eventually being arrested, authorities say. Now, the first thing that I have on my mind is why in the world would two gentlemen be pulling up to a video adult store with a goat in the vehicle? What type of adult videos are you going to be looking for and you got a goat in the back of the whip? <laughs> That's kind of strange. <laughs> Yo, it said the carjacking suspect, 40 year old Brandon Kirby, drove from Missouri to Kansas during the 130 mile ordeal. But the most craziest part is of this whole story is the goat. It's incredible, guys. I mean, <laughs> yo, a goat. That is beyond belief, yo. Like, you gonna go to jail and you gonna be like, what you in here for? I just um carjacked some dude and like um his goat. <laughs> yo, it's crazy because they said, okay, 2020, it only took you 4.5 hours to get weird. That was one of the first crazy stories, one of the very few to happen 4.5 hours into the new year. Incredible, guys. Up at number five, this has been reported by news.com.au twitter lost its control over the new subaru forester there's a new subaru for all you car fanatics for all you car enthusiasts who love subaru i myself think subarus are pretty cool well the japanese car giant has unveiled a new subaru model but all the attention is going to the vehicle's not very safe for work name in 2020, the Singapore Motor Show um, went underway and they displayed one of their latest new Subaru Forester models, right? It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful vehicle. One of the most notable things that people all over Twitter are raging about, they were saying that the company named the vehicle the Forester Ultimate Customized Kit Special Edition. This went viral because of that name. Now, if we break it up to an acronym, that acronym, the Forester Ultimate Customized Kit Special Edition, stands for <laughs> Yo, I lied to you not. That's the acronym. That's why that Subaru post on Twitter went viral. That's not safe for work. That's not safe for kids. That might not even be safe for the show or for YouTube. Hey, 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 YouTube. This is like me reading an article here. <laughs> Yo, people on on Twitter were like making jokes and everything about the company. They were saying like, um, if it were a no mission vehicle, it would be zero Forrester. Excuse my French, but it's actually F dot u dot c dot k dot s it comes you know souped up with with low profile wheels it comes with all the upgrades with the body kit the reason why they named it that was because it's supposed to be like a special edition subaru but if you think about it you think about them using that strategy that could have just been a marketing strategy that could have just been for like for attention kind of like you know taunting or trolling the internet so up at number four sources cbs news check this out guys so it was said that a, a heroic animal, a dog, one dog guys, just one dog, saved over how many? Let me make sure I'm correct. 900 sheep, 900 sheep. Now, let's be clear. This is happening in Australia right now. There's a wildfire. Um, it's burning down thousands and thousands of acres of land and a lot of wildlife and uh, uh, nature is perishing over there in Australia. Now, this is a little bit more on the serious note, but what makes this news article more compelling is that it was a dog, a six-year-old Kelpic Border Collie mix from Carrie Young, uh, Victoria. I'm assuming that's uh, a state, a town in Australia and or community in Australia. It was said that they were facing raging fires and then the dog heard it 
and guided 900 sheep away from the fire. Now, it's sad because right now that fire that's happening over there, they were saying one billion animals, wildlife, have perished in the fire thus far. They were saying that this is some of the craziest wildfires that might cause an animal extinction because a lot of the animals that are in Australia are only native to Australia. With that being said, there's a lot of kangaroos and things like that. They're gonna be scarce. This dog was so amazing. It's a beautiful dog. Like if you see the dog, the owner of the dog started its own Instagram account just to pay homage to the dog. People all over are loving the dog, loving what the dog did. The dog, I mean, man's best friend, the dog was smart. The dog had to be smart in order to like sense that A, there's a fire, B, I got 900 of my homies over here, little sheep sheeps that I'm supposed to be protecting and, 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 and caring for them. Because the dog could have just left, right or wrong. The dog could have bounced. The dog ain't had to wait for the sheep, but the dog rescued not even 100, not even 80 sheep, not, not 23 sheep, not 300, 900 sheep. So the owner commended the dog, everybody over the internet is, is raging over the dog and I myself, shout out to the dog, salute doggy. The dog, I just want to give the dog a little hug. I just want to give the dog a little squeeze. Yeah, that, yo, shout out. And yo, they said, um, she's earned front seat privileges for the rest of her life, owner Stephen Hill said. All right, next up at number three, guys. This is incredible. NDTV reports an offbeat woman tries smuggling cosmetics in a fake baby. Now, guys, I mean, smuggling and cosmetics and all of that stuff, it's not anything too extraordinary. But the thing that makes this article unbelievable <laughs> and funny, if you look at this picture of this woman, she tried to enter a plane. Are you serious? What, what would spark the inspiration in this woman's mind to make her believe that this is going to be an effective form of smuggling contraband from, from one country to another? Let's talk about it. Authorities in Uganda have detained a woman who tried using a dummy baby to smuggle banned cat cosmetics into the country. Officials from the Uganda Revenue Authority shared images of the fake baby on Twitter, writing that it was intercepted on a bus at the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo. You look at this baby, it don't look like a real baby. It's like a little two and a half foot, three foot mini person behind him. It's like, it's like they got a midget. It's just like they got a little baby boy, like a little seven year old hanging on her back. Then he's so lumpy. Look at his legs. Look at his back. Wait, why are you coming to the, to the airplane and you got it on your back? Don't people, I mean, I understand some people do carry their babies on their back. However, she would have probably had a better chance of like holding it to the front of her. Like, you know what I mean? So next up. At number two, Android Center reports that there's a new TV, a new LG OLED TV R9. That's the model name. The availability it should be coming in 2020. It was introduced in 2019. However, it's supposed to be unveiled this year and for sale available to the consumer market in 2020, right? Now, the most craziest thing about this story, aside from the TV itself, let's talk about the TV. LG's 65 inch roll up OLED television is scheduled to ship in 2020. And even though it's a year late, because remember it was shown in 2019, it costs $60,000. $60,000? Let's continue. The good news is that it's been updated with all of the same guts as its cheaper non-rolling LG OLED TV counterparts. I'm gonna repeat that sentence for you. I can't believe they consider this good news. The good news is that it's been updated with all of the same guts as its cheaper, all of the same guts as its cheaper non-rolling LG OLED TV counterparts, including a faster processor, better imaging, and far field microphones with built-in Alexa or Google Assistant. $60,000. I mean, you guys want to know why it costs $60,000? Well, it's supposed to have a roll-up feature. It's like a roll-up television. 60, what, 65 inch, right? 60 inch or so. What is it, 65? Yeah, 65 roll-up television, meaning, let's say, this table right here is the base of the television. Y'all don't see the television. Then the television, once you activate the television, it rolls. I don't know, like, is it a sheet? Is it thin? Is it nanotechnology? 
it's a roll up tv first thing i think of is like a poster that's the first thing i think of if anything's gonna roll it better be flexible enough as a poster but i'm assuming this tv is so thin the thing that gets me is that it brags about having the same features or the similar guts as its cheaper counterparty or you know company model tv but it costs a whopping $60,000. Now let's talk about what we can get with $60,000 here. We can invest in, in, in several homes. We could, you know, um, for foreclosure sales, we can uh, uh, purchase, you know, multiple vehicular devices, like $60,000, like you could finance a home. 60,000, you, you can pay for it for higher education. 60,000, you could ball out and just save it. Save the 60,000, like yo. That is incredible. And then they said something about, they said, the craziest part, the cloth covered housing doubles as a Dolby powered soundbar. And there's a new line view where the TV only rolls up a few inches to reveal the part of the screen for music playback. So not only is it a television, right? It also plays music. So it has like a sound bar. So if you're only using, let's say the radio feature of it, it'll only roll up some speakers. Then let's say you wanna watch some TV, boom. You press TV. And yeah, the whole thing rolls up. How many of y'all would spend sixty thousand dollars for that TV? I mean, sixty thousand sounds extremely unbelievable. <laughs> That's wild. So up at number one. Speaking of paper, check this out. CNN reports the business Japanese billionaire. I repeat, the business Japanese billionaire. A Japanese billionaire will give away more than nine million dollars or 9 million to 1,000 people on Twitter to see if it improves their happiness. All they had to do to get it was retweet them. Yo, don't this sound like one of them stories that you be seeing on Facebook or you be seeing on, on like Instagram or somewhere and, and it'd be like, yo, uh, repost this and I'm gonna give you thousand dollars, first thousand dollars to, to all the, yeah, you know I mean, like, doesn't it sound like one of them scams? But evidently, I believe this, this is real. Yeah, I checked several sources and this is an actual event that happened. He didn't only do it this year, but he did it in 2017. So this is the second time that he did that. He's a billionaire, he's on Forbes. Online shopping mogul Yasuku Meisawa will divvy up 1 billion yen, which is equivalent to around $9 million among the Twitter users. Winners will end up with a million yen each, roughly 9,100 US dollars. That's crazy, like this, this dude is insane. Now the purpose, and, and, and where he announced that, he announced it on a YouTube video. The tech tycoon called the contest a serious social trial to see what impact a million yen could have on a person's life. In the video, explaining the contest, use it however you like, as much as you like, until it burns out. When it's done, fill out a survey, or as you're spending, fill out a survey, and he's basically doing this whole social experiment to see if money really makes you happier. Will money make you happier? But the craziest thing I saw was that his tweet was in like Japanese. Cause how would an American person read this and understand that he's hosting a contest? You know what I mean? They said almost anybody was eligible to receive the small piece of fortune. All they had to do was join Twitter, retweet the announcement uh, before January 7th, 2020. More than 4 million people headed to his car and retweeted. Wow, that's incredible, guys. But it's only 9,100 US dollars. Yen and US dollars are two different uh, uh, equivalents. Like, you know, as you can see in yen, it was worth 1 billion yen, which sounds like a whole lot. But in all actuality, it was $9 million. And you think that dividing uh, $9 million between 1,000 people is gonna give them a lot. Like you would think like, wow, it's like I'm one out of the thousand people and they're gonna, you know, split 9 million between us. Everybody only gets about $9,000. So I don't really see how that's going to enhance the quality of life. Maybe in Japan, living expenses are different. Maybe $9.1,000 or $9,100 might be equivalent to a couple hundred thousand in Japan. All right, guys, so with that being said, that's today's episode of Wild and Unbelievable News. Comment below the craziest news story you just heard me talk about. And if you have any crazy suggestions, if something crazy just popped off within this past week or two, let me know. Send me the article. Copy and paste the article below, and I'll do my best to touch base on it in a future episode. Until next time, guys, take care and be safe.